Can I speak to somebody today? Eh? Can I speak to somebody? I have some good, good news to share with you today because somebody is insisting that you are the one and is uh, most importantly willing and uh, uh, yeah, wants to wait up until you accept them. Because with this, you know, I see something so profound and unfortunately, unfortunately, most people, they miss what I'm about to share with you right now. Most people, we miss it. That is why when you're working with the Lord, sometimes it's not a matter of using your feelings, your emotions only, but you also have to use common sense. That is why the Lord combines all these things wisdom you, you get what i'm saying you must be obedient so you must be willing versatile in some way uh to be able to adapt you know to go along with what it is telling you don't just cram and you just use this one road and even when they say now turn left and be like oh because i was told that i must you got what i'm saying so that is why at the end of the day when there is that someone that is waiting when in your head you had envisioned that the Christ is going to come like this. The Christ is going to look like this. He's going to come as a king. It was, it is hard to ever change your mind. That is why in the times of Jesus, the most, some of the people, they did not believe in him. Not necessarily because they refused. They did not want to believe because in their brains, they had been imprinted that the Christ is going to be the Messiah who is going to come like a king. And so they had already built their imaginations on how Christ will actually look like. So when he came, when he didn't really look exactly as they anticipated, it became a problem. They were not willing to just understand that, wait, he's still a king, but not a king that is going to rule, not a king that is going to, 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 to you get what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, he's a king, but he's coming in this form. One of the things that I honor the most in my life, I was like, nothing makes me happier than when I see that when two people are married, you know what makes actually let me just put it like this you know what actually makes people to divorce what makes people to separate misunderstand fight and all these things there is it always starts with one person always doing the opposite even if the other member is willing to fix is trying harder when one is pulling aside it's a problem i don't know how many people have spoken with via emails and all they will be complaining oh this person has started ignoring me oh he say he no longer wants me oh he says this 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 to show that that lady that person was willing to make things right to fix things to be with that person but the person ain't coming around the person he is now ignoring her in that case it's impossible for things to be right but then again on the bright side on the bright side you see, there are many men in the world as much as there are many women. You always know, okay, if you don't want me, I can find someone. Yeah, it, 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 that's, the, that's it. My, but knowing so well that you can always find someone for a person to insist, to fight, to try harder, to fix things with you alone out of the millions and millions and thousands and oh my God. That says something about you. That says something about that person. Yes, of course. I'm not denying the fact that there are reasons maybe why that person does not want to be. That is also true. But then again, let's just take a uh, picture, the best case scenario here. Let's just take this person. Uh, it's good as you wanted. Meets all the requirements. You cannot, you can barely find fault with them. And on top of that, above everything else, you can listen. You can barely find fault with that person. In some other ways, I'm trying to say, you find that everything you ever wanted, it is there with them. They are, Christ, they are Christian. They are loving, respectful, caring. You, you got what I'm saying? And then it's just that you find that the, even their physical appearance, let's just, okay, let me make, not, let me not make it too high, but you find that it, it's fair. They have a fair physical appearance according to your eyes, you know, beauty is in the eyes of the beholder so listen so in your eyes people are like yeah but they are okay i don't think i would be embarrassed to walk with them on the mall you know what that's what people say so yeah but then all of a out of a sudden when they want you when they are willing 
you just it's just, i don't really uh, i don't really feel that thing you know i don't know i don't know it's just that oh uh, uh. then that is when you must take note pay attention something is wrong something is wrong is that person fighting to be with you is that person patient trying then it is something remarkable it is something remarkable because that is a huge sign that if the best case scenario you are to be married with this person your marriage will last if this is who they are they don't just let go they are willing to fight and you can just tell it is in them to fight for things to commit oh my god then you have found a pure marriage you have found a real marriage that you know that you know what no matter the rain that ever comes, the storm and all these things, we're going to conquer. Yes, they will come, but I'm with someone who is willing to make it last. Whereas, whereas there are so many people today who when things get tough, they easily leave. They don't know why they got in there. When the butterflies goes off the roof, now they think, ah, I guess we made a mistake. Oh, it's not meant to be. Oh, I thought, I thought, and they, they separate. But someone who says no. I, in fact, you know, I like this saying. When I've been watching TV, I don't know how many women I've had, especially those in abusive uh, relationships or with an abusive partner. They would say, it's just that he and I, we already have a kid together. The reason I did not want to separate with him is because I grew up without both of my parents. They were separated so i didn't want my kids my children to grow up also uh with one parent you get what i'm saying so that somebody is a sign that they are willing to do whatever it takes so long as you guys you stick together and the kids so and the kids they get to have experience the love of both parents so that's someone you know you you can bet your hair that nobody it's going to just come and steal them away. They can't just leave you. By the time they get tempted, they think, oh, but what about my kid? No, 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 no. So that one has good motives. It has already made, decided in their heart, there's something that is a good motivation to let them, to keep them. That is why I want to talk to someone right now. Don't take it for granted. If this is not already happening, you're about to experience this. And let me tell you, it is as easy as that to overlook what I'm saying. It is as easy as that when that person comes for you to feel like, I oh, know God will some bring someone better. But please note, unless if they show you a trait which is totally ungodly, toxic, something which you know that this is bad, then I can give you also the permission in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that, you know what, don't force things. But then again, if it is only just a matter of, I just don't, oh, you know what, just pray about it. Pray harder and try where you can. Let the Lord enable you to at least give it a shot. If you see that this person, there's nothing really, really I can blame. It's just that I don't because a honeymoon feeling or face is bound to end. Butterflies eventually, even if you find someone that you love more than anything else in the entire world, there will come a point where ah, you look at them, you, even, you almost even forget why you fell for them in the first place. So that means nothing if you look at someone in the first sight and you don't really feel. But what matters the most is what can withstand the test of time. Someone is already there someone is fighting for you someone will show you will do whatever it will be patient with you and don't miss that opportunity and i pray for you let your kingdom marriage not pass you by in jesus name amen and of course that's all i had my details are on the comment section below see you next time